guys. It's Sunday, August 31st, 2014, and I went to the dollar store today, and I bought two things to try. So, I'm going to show you what I bought, and yeah. So, the two things I bought were Lay's Cappuccino Potato Chips and a Chilo. So... Here's what the packaging looks like for the Lay's. This is a small pack. This is two and seven eighths ounces. And I really wanted the bacon mac and cheese, but they were sold out of it. They didn't have any left. So I picked this one. There's a, the flavors right here. Here's the nutritional information. So yeah, I've never tried these before. Um, I love coffee. I love cappuccino. So I'm kind of hoping that I'll like these. So... Let's get into it. Mmm. It smells... Oh, it smells so good. It does smell like coffee. It smells like cappuccino. Mmm. Oh, that smells so good. And it's amazing how much it smells like a good cup of cappuccino coffee. And there's what it looks like on the inside. Oh my goodness. Mm, that smells so good. Well, it does not have a salty flavor like chips. It's a very light flavor. Um, try another one. The actual smell mm, of the cappuccino when you first open the bag is so much stronger than the flavor. Um, They don't taste bad, but they don't taste what I like what I thought they would taste. There's not as strong of a cappuccino flavor as I thought. I wish there would actually be more of a coffee flavor to them. They sort of taste kind of like just the regular Lay's without the salt. Maybe with just a hint Maybe a little, little tiny, tiny hint of coffee vanilla flavor. But it's not strong like I thought it would be. I really thought it would be a lot stronger. I don't know. And the smell is kind of dissipating now, too. When you first opened the bag, it smelled awesome, like a good cup of cappuccino. And maybe because I'm outside, but I'm I'm a little disappointed because they don't it. 
I want more coffee flavor to it. It's kind of like not much of a flavor to it at all. I mean, they're not bad. I don't dislike them. And that one had a stronger flavor. But it tastes more like a very light version of what I would think of as the foam on the cappuccino as opposed to the coffee. And I would prefer more of a coffee flavor. But, yeah. So even if you don't like coffee or cappuccino, you might want to try these. It's just a very, very light flavor. It's not very strong. It's not salty. Um, There's only 40 milligrams of sodium per serving. 115 for the whole bag. That's 2%. For a serving. But yeah, they're not bad. I just. My review is I wish it had more coffee flavor to it and less like the foam flavor. But yeah. So that's that one. Um, I'm anxious to try the bacon mac and cheese. And I'm anxious to try. Um, like the mango salsa. And they also had another one. Like a cheesy garlic. And I'm anxious to try that. So I might go back to the dollar store. And get um, another bag and try it. But yeah. I'm, I'm disappointed that there's not more of a coffee flavor. Okay. On to the next one. This one. I can't really tell you what it's like. In this video. Because it takes a little while to set up. Um, so this is the Chillo. You can pause and read the packaging. upside down so yeah you're supposed to be able to put it for your feet your back your head um I wanted to do a package opening in this video and then I'll set it up because it takes a little while you have to add water to it and let it sit and then push all the air out and let it set some more so let's just open the box here And I did get this at the Dollar General Store. It was somewhere around $12, $13. Okay. So it comes folded in half like this. Okay. It's very, very lightweight. It's got soft foam. It smells... Faint, very, very faint plasticky smell, but not nothing that should bother anybody. I have severe asthma, and it doesn't bother me. You know, they um, kind of like the blow-up air mattresses that you would get, the cheap, cheap ones for the swimming pool. It has a faint smell of that, but not nearly as strong. This is the slick side. Okay, and then you open it up, and here's all the instructions. Lifetime warranty here. Limit, oh wait, limited warranty, sorry. Limited warranty. I'm trying to read upside down. Um, this shows you how to pour in the water, how to set it all up. Very long instructions. So, yeah. What I did was I went on YouTube. And they actually had a YouTube video by the ma maker of this. And he showed how to do it. So, And there's a valve right here. Valve. 
attention, read and follow the instructions carefully. If you don't, it may cause damage. Do not use the sunlight. Do not puncture. Okay, it comes with this little cap that goes right here. And that, I hope, stays on. Yeah, that stays on pretty tight. So you've got this cap. And then inside, I'm going to show you inside, is this memory foam. And it's very, very thin layer. Maybe a fourth of an inch, a little bit thicker. But there's the memory foam. This is really soft, velvety material. It's really nice. So, yeah. Um, I can't wait to try this out. And I will give it a go tonight. And do another video tomorrow and tell you how I like it. Um, yeah. If you want to see how you set it up, you can go on YouTube. And I just typed in Chillo. And there's some videos about how to do it. But you basically pour in warm water in here. Then you let it set. And you, then you put the cap on and you squeeze the air out. And roll this up. To squeeze all the air out. And then you let it set for another couple of hours, and it's supposed to get cold, cool. And the idea behind it, technically, it stays at room temperature. But if your room temperature is 72 and your body temperature is 98.6, it feels a lot cooler, and it's supposed to evaporate the heat off. So we're going to try it. I'll give it a go tonight, and I'll let you know. If anybody has used a chillo, let me know what you think of it. And if anybody has tried these chips, let me know what you think. And let me know which of the other chips is your favorite. So, yeah, I'm on the lookout for bacon mac and cheese. And I'll probably go back and get a couple of the other kinds to try as well. So, yeah, thanks for watching. And enjoy the rest of your Sunday and your Labor Day weekend. Oh, and I'm trying to get to my 200 subscribers. So... Yeah, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And once I hit 200, I'm going to have a giveaway. I'm not sure exactly what I'll be giving away yet, but probably most likely craft supplies. But yeah, we'll see. Um, so yeah, help me reach my 200. And thanks for watching. Bye.